Blessed be the barley. Hi guys and welcome to this week's episode of The Handmaid's Ale. I am Hannah and I am The Handmaid's Ale. First and foremost, I'd just like to say if I seem like really scattery in this video, basically my life is, oh, I feel like I'm going 100 miles per hour in everything and everything has been a pretty much non-stop since this time last week and I am absolutely craving a lazy do nothing day but it's kind of not happening. Um, I had loads of work and then I went to Bristol and then I've been volunteering today and I'm trying to film a load of other stuff on my other channel and my brain has just gone on to explode. Um, but anyway, let's do this episode. So this week we are doing a beer that I was very kindly gifted by my friend Jeff and the lovely Nick and it is from Yates Brewery on the Isle of Wight and this one is Holy Joe. So you may or may not remember that I did an Isle of Wight brewery before I did Ducks Folly, I will leave a card to it. I think it was like one of the third or fourth. Massive magpie just landed outside the window. Wow. Anyway, I think it was the third or fourth beer I ever did. I can't really remember. Anyway, it'll be linked. So about Yates Brewery, if you do live on the Isle of Wight, then you'll probably know Yates as the biggest distributor of alcohol and soft drinks and sort of beer pub supplies um, on the Isle of Wight. They don't, I believe, do any business on the mainland and they are the biggest wholesaler of that sort of thing on the island, but they actually started off as a brewery. So back in 2000, it was a father and son team. Um, Papa Yates, as I'm gonna call him, he started it off as a brewery in, um, I think it was like on the side of an old pub and he just started that off. And then son Yates, Yates' son, he joined the business in 2001 and became the wholesaler that it is today. The beers that they do brew, they brew very wide ranging. They have quite a lot of seasonal beers, so they're either very summery or very wintry. They do have some Christmas special ones, which I will be keeping an eye out for when the season arrives, because it's... You should start playing that now. Anyway, um, they do have some lovely summery ones, but I'm afraid I'm pretty much done with my summer beers, unfortunately. But this is Holy Joe, and this, I think, is one of their sort of citrusy, spicy, coppery numbers, is what I could gather. So what it says on the back of the blurb is a traditional style ale, a full-bodied golden amber ale with a bittersweet aftertaste, Ground coriander is added to the brew to give it an extra citrusy, spicy finish. It says serve chilled, but I actually haven't. I've served it pretty much at cellar temperature. So it's just been in the fridge for around an hour just to call it that fraction. And it says it's served best with fish dishes or spicy curry, and it is brewed by Papa Yates himself. It is 4.9%, so it's in within my golden range. I love the fours. Um, anything above that I find a little bit too heady, anything below that is a little bit too watery for my personal taste. And uh, this is a 500ml bottle. Like I said about the brewery itself, I don't think I've actually seen any of their stuff on the mainland. Not that really, really springs to mind. And I go to quite a few pubs and I drink quite a few beers. But maybe... You can search them out, but if you're on the Isle of Wight, you can definitely find them. They are pretty much everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to crack it open and see what it's like. Oh, no, 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 no. Eek. <laughs> okay, so apparently an hour just chilling in the fridge wasn't enough to cool, to calm it down. So, I can smell it because I've spilt it all over the table, but let's give it a proper, proper sniff. Give it another wipe, actually. Okay. 
smells citrusy and hoppy. I'm not getting spice or coriander just yet. Okay, so the colour is very amber. It looks actually like natural amber, which is lush. Okay, I'm going to taste it. So I should be tasting a bittersweet aftertaste and a bit of spicy citrus. Very smooth. I do taste coriander. I do. So if you don't like coriander, which I know quite a lot of people don't, avoid this beer. But if you do like it, because I actually personally love it, I, I'd say go for it because it does come through. It definitely does. It's a sweet and smooth beer, which is why I think it would go very well with a curry. It, I can see it really complimenting and yet cooling down the spice of a curry. It is very nice. It doesn't have a very strong aftertaste. Um, and it, do you know what, it doesn't taste 4.9%. I would say it tastes more around your high threes, low fours, low fours are maximum actually. It's a bit too sweet for me. I am enjoying it, but I think it does need, does need food to go well with it. If I have food, I could probably have a couple of them. And if you know me, or if you've watched enough of these videos, you'll know that I don't have very sweet tooth, and I way do prefer more savoury tastes. This is a bit too syrupy. I'm almost going to yeah, it is syrupy. It does kind of coat your mouth in a syrupy way. Saying that, though, I think I'm going to give Holy Joe from Yates Brewery a 3 out of 5 stars. It's not that it's not pleasant i just don't think i'm drinking it in the right environment um it's a food beer definitely pair it up with something if you have a sweeter tooth it's going to tickle your fancy a bit more and obviously if you don't like coriander probably not going to be the right beer for you but it is pleasant i would definitely choose it again if i saw it i'd just probably choose something else before it depending on what was there. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, they've got it, that's nice. And that brings me to the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm actually really running out of beers, so I know I never thought the day would come. But if you have any suggestions for me, I prefer to do things that aren't necessarily very widely available in supermarkets. I definitely want to do more European things, and so please don't sort of suggest your run of the mill like hop goblins and stuff like that because I've done those but if you do have anything that comes from your specific area of the world and you think I should be tasting it then please drop me a comment below also drop me a comment below if you have tried this beer and you've liked it what are your opinions on it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more I upload videos every Wednesday at 7pm British time and until next time guys bye bye